And still on labor, the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission has warned public sector employees not to compare outcomes of the job revaluation. The commission says it fears a further comparison could damage the already volatile industrial relations climate here in the country. Chief Executive Officer of the Commission, George Smith Graham, was speaking at a forum organized by the National Labor Commission in Accra. Various labor unions were present to deliberate on issues which have continually triggered industrial unrest. Discussions focused on the implementation of market premium, conversion difference, grading structure, and placement on the pay policy. Job revaluation and conditions of service for public sector workers also formed part of the discussions. Chief Executive Officer for the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, George Smith Graham, cautioned labor unions not to compare outcomes of job revaluation, for that can create salary distortions. Especially within the public service now, where we've done the job revaluation, we've placed people there. But people see that people are occupying those positions to be people who are not qualified enough to do those jobs. So technically speaking, government is even paying money for people who, can, who are not supposed to be in those jobs. Because we didn't use the job evaluation to actually reform the public sector as we are supposed to do. The Fair Wages and Salaries Commission will be given timelines to address pertinent issues after the forum. The whole idea is to charge a positive solution to the resolution of the issues that are still outstanding or that are nagging, that keep uh, coming up. That is why we have brought them, the social partners here together, and uh, this is a serious business we are doing here, to ensure that where there's need to have timelines, we provide timelines.